you have to warm up your model hydraulically. There's like three different sediment warm ups you can do. They don't matter if you're not warming up your hydraulic model. The problem is, is that we don't warm up the hydraulic model by default. Now, if you're used to 1D, 1D defines the initial conditions um, of your unsteady flow model by just running a steady flow hydraulics. So time zero is just a steady flow profile, and then we transition into an unsteady flow, and that can go poorly, but it often doesn't because they're pretty close. There is no steady flow 2D that we can transition into. Um, so the model starts dry, it actually has to like warm up into a steady state. And so you have to give it time to fill and kind of achieve a steady state. If your hydrograph looks like this, this is, this is not my best hydrograph, but if your hydrograph looks like this, if you were to start the model here, well, you're just going to start putting water into a dry mesh. So, and then if your sediment also starts here, well, you're going to like just erode the channel because you're just sending water through. Again, this is something you can often get away with in hydraulics, not in sediment. You need to have time zero come after a period of steady flow. Um, and so that's what this is. It's called initial conditions. It used to be warm up, now it's initial conditions time because we want you to know that this isn't like an optional warm up if you're like one of my 11 year old boys and thinks they don't need to warm up before they play. This is mandatory. This is what you need to do to get your initial conditions. And so you give it enough hours to not only fill the channel, but reach a steady state. Now this gets really complicated with levees and gates and stuff like that. But in most you know, 2D sediment models, you can have a general sense of how long this will take. Now, what if it's unstable here? First of all, you probably don't want to start it here, right? You don't want to warm it up here because that's going to be, that's going to be a shock to your system. You want to start it kind of at a low a flow or a moderate flow. Um, but what if it's unstable here? You're still hitting it with a kind of a shock of flow. Well, it would be nice to ramp that up, to start with a low flow and kind of edge towards this actual initial, initial conditions flow. Well, that is what the ramp up fraction is. And so the ramp up fraction says, we're gonna take some percentage or fraction um, of your initial conditions time, and we're gonna use that to ramp up. So in this case, we're gonna take the first 10% of your initial conditions, which in this case is 1.2 hours, and we're gonna use that to ramp up into your initial conditions. And so 0 0.1, 0 0.2, you can make it 0.5 if you want to you know, kind of get there slowly. If your model is unstable in the warm-up time, this is a good way to kind of sneak up on it and then reach a steady state. Uh, but you know, I feel like I'm getting a lot, of, we're getting a lot of 2D sediment models coming in right now. This is the number one error. People are used to, you know, oh, I'll just run my hydraulic model until it reaches steady state. Um, but if you're doing sediment from the beginning, it's going to be a catastrophe. Um, so make sure that you're warming up, ramping up your model so it has good initial conditions. Your, your model will run twice. Um, and the first time it'll run with negative times. In fact, if you've got like a 24 hour model um, and your initial conditions are like, oh, look, my, my run's gonna be done in an hour. Look, look how fast that's going. And then you're, you realize, oh, those are negative numbers. Uh, we're still in the initial conditions. And then it gets to that. And then it starts your run in positive time. Sediment comes on at time zero. There are three different sediment warm ups. Alex will talk about warming up your sediment model, which is a totally different thing. You want to warm up your hydraulic model first. Um, and then sediment comes on here with all three sediment warm-ups. 